relationship with God, Abraham did not allow the gift he received from God to affect the relationship he has with God. Remember, Abraham loved God before Isaac. Even when Isaac came, Isaac was never a distraction to the relationship with God. Abraham loved the Creator than the Created. Abraham honored the Creator, not the Created. The creator is God. The created is Isaac. Who are we today? Do we love what we have? And what we have is created. Or do we love who created what we have? How much do you love? Who do you love? The creator or the created? What do you have right now? You have a job. You have a family. You have children. You have money. If someone touches what you have, are you still going to pray? If you used to pray three times, in a day, after when they have taken what you love, they chop you love, will you still pray three times a day? If you skip one chance to pray, your relationship is affected. Now ask your neighbor, how is your relationship with God? Ask your neighbor, if I touch what you have, will you still love God? Or you love what I touch. If I touch your money, will you still love God? Or you will cry for the money. My neighbor, learn from Abraham. God touched Isaac. Abraham touched God. Indeed, Abraham did not allow his love for Isaac, his only son, to affect his relationship with God. The pain of sacrificing his only son did not affect his relationship with God. What is it that is standing between you and God? What is it that is affecting your relationship with God? Is it a power of sin? I command the power of sin to break over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Any spirit tormenting you, affecting your relationship with God, be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewers, I declare you free. Rejoice in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.